Hey, I'm Evan, Head of Engineering for RM Stator. Today we're going to talk about how to test uh, starter relay solenoids. So they're pretty simple. Um, they have a, a coil inside that when they get uh, 12 volts applied to them, they will close a switch and that allows us to send high current to a starter motor without burning up our wiring harness. So to test one, you actually have to activate it. You can't really test it passively with a multimeter. So uh, here I have a um, power supply set up, which is basically a battery, set at 13 volts, and what we're going to do is hook it up uh, to put 12 volts across the wires for the starter solenoid. If we do that, we should hear it click and we should hear the switch inside close, and in doing that, we should then see a connection between the two large terminals. So the large terminals on the relay, one is power coming in from your battery, and the other is power going out to your starter and they're large because they carry a ton of current going out to your starter motor. Um, I have a uh, multimeter here set up to show that there is a connection between the two when we activate it. So when I connect the power supply to the two wires for the starter relay, this is the same thing as you pushing the starter button on your motorcycle or your ATV. So when that happens, we should see the meter show a direct connection between the two wires. So if you're testing this on the bike, you basically want to leave your wiring harness hooked up, but you would want to probably disconnect your battery and your um, output to your starter leads, so that way you're not actually sending current through it. Then you can set your meter to the continuity setting or to the low resistance range setting and connect it between the two large terminals on the relay, and then hit your starter button to activate it with the key on of course, and then see that you get a dead short between the two large terminals. So with all that said, let's try it and see what happens. All right, so just like pushing the start button on the uh, handlebars, when I connect this, I'm putting 12 volts across the relay and we should hear it close, we should hear a click, and we should also see the meter show a short between those two terminals. So that's exactly what happens. We can hear the click when the switch opens and closes. And we can hear the meter beep and see that it is showing a short or continuity between the terminals when we're applying power to the relay. That's how you test a starter solenoid and that'll tell you if it's good.